keeping up with the motto let learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure here we are with the remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap happy learning dear students good morning students in the previous ppt we had learned about the climatic condition of india today here we are to study chapter 5 of standard 10 that is natural vegetation and wildlife of brazil and india in this ppt that is part 1 we are going to study about natural vegetation and wildlife of brazil and in the next ppt we will study about natural vegetation and wildlife of india children now you are going to observe the image and discuss on the basis of the following points all of you are going to look at this pictures and try to find out what pictures these are or what are the names of these pictures now the first question is can you tell the names of the plants or trees shown in the image can you all guess yes the first plant which is shown over here is catinga now this plant is been found in the desert region especially where the rainfall is very less now we have a region also in brazil to the north east where catinga name is been given to that region the second picture is about the black paper they look like as red berries or small cherries but they are the black paper found in brazil the third picture is about the trees or the forest which is found in the equatorial region the trees are tall and these trees are mahogany trees the next question where have you seen this plants before so we know that in our desert region of india we can find cactus which is similar to this in our country also we have got cherries or berries which are found they are red in color and in the evergreen forest of our country we have got tall trees been grown now the third question name the fauna shown in the image now the first picture is about a bird which is known as nightingale the second picture is jaguar and the third one is anaconda so again the pictures which are over here or the animals which are shown here they are again similar to a country's animals so it is said where have you seen this before so we have seen them in our country india figure 5.2 Two shows us physiography, natural vegetation, and wildlife. That is, the rainfall, flora, and fauna of Brazil has been shown. The changes occur in the above elements while you are going from north to south. Now, the latitudinal extent which has been shown over here is five degrees eleven minutes north to twenty-five degrees twenty-four minutes south. Here we have got. the guiana highland now at this place the height is about 1000 meters the rainfall is 1600 mm and the temperature is about 21 degrees celsius here you find tropical forest where various types of apes reptiles are been found now as you go little ahead where we have got equatorial forest where the temperature is about 28 degrees celsius and the amount of rainfall received by this region is 2000 mm the next is parana basin you will find the temperature which is 21 degrees celsius the amount of rainfall is 1500 mm the type of forest found here is of deciduous type and you have got grassland animals been found in this region again as you go ahead 
where we have got Brazilian highland. This place has got temperature about 23 degrees Celsius and the amount of rainfall is 600 millimeters. The type of forest is here that is temperate forest. Animals which are found is reptiles and grassland animals. Then the coastal plains where we have got temperature about 27 degrees Celsius, amount of rainfall is 1200 millimeters. Now this coastal plain ahead we have got again the Atlantic Ocean towards the east. Now this figure is very clearly showing us about types of animals, the amount of rainfall and the temperature. About the Brazilian vegetation. Now Brazil is a country which is located in the northern and the southern hemisphere. To the northern part of Brazil, you will find most of this region is located near the equator or in the equatorial region. Now in Brazil we see that rainfall goes on changing or it varies according to the physiography. In most part of the equatorial region, you will find the rainfall is very heavy and it rains throughout the year. And as you are going away from the equator, the number of days as well as the amount of rainfall goes on decreasing. And because the amount of rainfall decreases, you will find it is affecting the life cycle of the vegetation. Now you find evergreen forest in the areas which has got rainfall throughout the year. And in regions which receives rainfall only for a certain period of time or during certain season, you will find the density of vegetation goes on reducing. Now instead of forest, you can find types of grasses or short shrubs and thorny vegetation where the rainfall is less. find that Brazil has got the largest number of vegetation species in the world and they include evergreen vegetation, semi evergreen vegetation, arid etc. Now you also find the types of trees over here are Pau Brazil, rubber, mahogany, rosewood and variety of orchids. Now as we know that this region has got evergreen rainforest and because of this evergreen rainforest in Brazil there is a large amount of oxygen is which is being released in the environment and because of this large amount of oxygen the level of carbon dioxide reduces and therefore these forests are called as the lungs of the world. Children, now let us observe the map of Brazil and answer the following question. Now this is a map showing you the forest and wildlife of Brazil. There is also an index given showing you the type of forest. You can also observe this map on page 34 in your textbook. So let us try to find the answers for this question. Now name the species shown on the map. They are condor, anaconda, golden lion tamarind, macaw, etc. In which region are these animals found and why are their habitats found in these forests? Now you see that condors are found in the northern part of Brazil. Anacondas are found in the Pantanal region. Golden lion tamarind are found in northern Brazil. Macaws are found in eastern region of Brazil. Evergreen dense forests are seen in the northern part of Brazil. Therefore, condors are seen in these regions. 
anacondas are seen in the swampy land of Pandanan region and tropical forests are seen in the eastern part of Brazil therefore macaws are seen in these forests. Now your next question is classify the forest region with reference to their extent. You will find that evergreen rainforests are found in Guyana Highland and Amazon River Basin. Deciduous forest and savanna type of forests are found in Paragu Parana River Basin, Brazilian Highland and in the central part of Brazil. Swampy lands are found in the Pantanal region. Thorny shrub type of vegetation is found in the drought quadrilateral in northeastern region of Brazil. So I hope you understood the map as well as the answers of these questions. Now we are going to study about the Brazilian wildlife. Brazil is a very big country and a great diversity in wildlife is found in Brazil than any other country of the world. You will find in the swampy areas of Pantanal in Brazil, huge anacondas are being found. The other animals which you find in Brazil are the crocodiles, then we have got alligators, Guyana pigs, monkeys, pumas, leopards, etc. There are also wide variety of fishes found in Brazil. The swordfish are found in the seas while pink dolphin and piranhas are found in rivers. Condors are used in size and they fly high in the sky. You also find various types of parrots, macaws and flamingos. There are millions of insect varieties which are found in Brazil and because of all these varieties the wildlife of Brazil is very rich and diverse. We have seen that Brazil has got a very thick forest as well as it has got a great diversity in wildlife. But today degradation of environment is happening due to illegal smuggling of wild animals, slash and burn agriculture, deforestation, pollution, etc. Now illegal smuggling of animals is where the animals are killed by the people for their selfish motive. Slash and burn agriculture is where the tribal people who stay in the remote areas, they do not have the land for cultivation. So they cut the forest and clear the land for cultivation. After a certain period of time when they find that the land is losing the fertility, they shift to some other place and when they go to that place, they cut the forest over there to practice agriculture. So this went on for many years and because of this, the forest is getting degraded. Even people are cutting the forest for firewood. At some places, the forest is cut down for construction of houses, construction of roads, railways and many other reasons due to which the forest is getting degraded. Many endemic species are on the verge of getting extinct because of all these issues. Now a survey is being done in 2016 where we found that approximately 5831 square kilometers of land under forest in Brazil has already degraded in that year. So students, we have completed the lesson by learning about the vegetation and animal life of Brazil. I hope you understood the lesson. Now today's assignment is, we are going to show the following animals on the map of Brazil. That is condor, anaconda, golden lion tamarind and macaw. 
the next is answer the following question that is you are going to write the answers find the answers for this question what are the major causes of degradation of forest in brazil second a wide variety of species of insect is found in brazil why thank you